do. Snap-on's got a new locking flex head design. I'm unsure if I like it or not. It was just a detent ball style the last time, right? Yeah, it was just that little work thing. Now it's actually a, a nice... Lock and unlock. Huh. Pretty wild. The head looks longer, too. Yeah, it's actually... It's, it's, guys have been liking it. Those are slick, man. Good stuff. Got catalog this time? I forget to grab one last time. Uh, no. I will make it. All right. Oh, snap. Yeah. Woo-hoo. Pretty strong little magnet there. All right, on a part sold. Let's check out this locking flex head from Snap-on. High-vis handle. You guys know I like the high-vis. He's let me just check this out, but I had to check it out in the color that I liked. Let us unlock lock feature. I like the extra added length in the head. Seems like it's built pretty strong. And we're going to be taking a closer look at these wobble locking extensions my eye we're gonna check those out too all right i'm gonna try it out i'm gonna try it out mm, that knurling feels nice though i like it so far all right, all let's right check it so out. right off the bat yeah and i get it these are the wobbly locking extensions but you know how like on the, some of the snap-on uh wobble extensions you can push it back all the way straight if you didn't want it to uh, pivot at all. Unfortunately, on the locking one, that's not an option. But. I like it. What's going on, everyone? Justin again, as always. Thanks for watching my channel. Welcome back. I'm sorry. It's been a while since my last post. There's been a... Uh, a lot of things going on, right? Aside from going to the gym, aside from stuff that I'm dealing with. Look, it's been a lot. It's been a lot, to say the least. At any rate, that's not what today's video is about. We did get a chance to jump on uh, Gear Wrench Jeff's truck. I did get the ProTech catalog. I did forget them at work, so I'll be sure to do that video, hopefully here tomorrow. We also jumped on the Snap-on truck after the 4th of July, because we had the 4th of July off, so happy late 4th of July. Snap-on Garrett, let us check out a couple of items here, okay? This doesn't mean I'm locked in and I'm buying them. These are just items that he checked out, and he's willing to let me borrow them in the color that I like on the offset chance that I do decide to keep it. But, you know, money's been really tight. My situation's been really tight. But that doesn't change the fact that I still want to check out these freaking cool shiny tools, right? All right, so first things up, the 3 8 drive locking flex head, the new locking flex head by snap-on my daughter she left it right in the exact middle so yes it will lock in the middle but a little bit canted that's where it's supposed to be but it can be in the middle and still be locked if you go all the way over here to the clock uh counterclockwise it does flex so you do have the ability to flex it 90 degrees in either direction we haven't got a chance to actually use it use it yet i will try it out i cannot abuse this okay meaning i'm going to have to use it in the areas where I know I'm not going to damage the handle or anything like that because I want to be able to actually see if I like the locking flex head capabilities. One of the things that I really did like about this is that they have an extended almost teardrop design. Okay. A little bit thick on the head side. That's snap on though. Snap on's always had a rather thick head when it came to their ratchets, but their ratchets have also held up and I haven't had to had have any of mine re-geared whatsoever so that's a positive thing to say for snap-on matco seems about once a year sometimes every six months depending on what circumstances and amount of pressure i'm putting behind it i have to get my ratchet re-geared so with snap-on though the snap-on ratchets that i do have i've never had to have them re-geared they're fine tooth if i'm not mistaken this is 90 teeth no this is the 80 tooth so this is the 80 tooth locking flex head. Like it in the high vis, the comfort grip from Snap-on handles is very comfortable. Um, I've used a handful of these over the years. I've given a lot of these away over the years. But overall, I think that they did pretty good on this. 
it is a little bit different in design compared to what it is that you're used to seeing. Now, is that gonna be a pro or a con? Are the wiring harnesses gonna trip this easily? We're gonna find that out hopefully here in the coming future videos. If I can find a reason and excuse to use it, I will. Let's talk about these quarter inch locking universal or yeah, semi-universal pivoting. Let's call them pivoting extensions, okay? Uh, I like them, okay, I do. I like the knurling here at the end. The knurling at the end is heavier than it is here at the top of the shank. And I will tell you that for smaller things, like when you get down like this and you just wanna kind of grab and rotate and twist, it's nice. It's nice to be able to have that knurled grip. Um, I did use these, I do plan on keeping these, okay? Uh, these do come at a cost, obviously. Now, one thing I would have liked to have seen is the ability to dual lock the socket. And I'm not sure if you're able to do that Snap-on or anybody else that's manufacturing these. Um, it's nice that it locks it in a universal pivoting area, but on some of the other pivoting style extensions that they have that are non-locking, you can either have it pivot or you can have it lock in a straight shank position. So it would have been cool to see that incorporated in the locking extensions that would have made them all the more worthwhile. <clears throat> Three pieces, okay? It would have been nice to have a four piece option, not gonna lie, it would have been nice to have four pieces and different sizes, but I guess they gave you the three most common that you would use uh, considering what we do here in the uh, automotive realm. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and give these a preemptive two thumbs up because I did use the one today and I used it in a handful of spots and I really liked it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and give them the two thumbs up on this preemptively. We'll see how things go. Not sure how I feel about this. Let's give it a one thumbs up for right now and see how we feel after we get a chance to actually test it out. Um, like I said, most of the ratchets are two thumbs up. So if the locking flex head, why wouldn't it be two thumbs up? I don't know, only time and trial will let us know. So that's all I got for this video, guys. Look, thanks as always for watching my channel. I'm sorry I've been a little bit absent. I promise you in the coming months, like the next month or so, I will be a little bit more proactive back here on YouTube. I just got a lot of personal stuff that I have to take care of and uh, it's been weighing on me and it's it's just been a challenge it's every day has been a challenge every week's been a challenge and it's it's just been tough so i haven't i wasn't really sure how i'm how i was gonna deal with it i'm still not sure how i'm gonna deal with it but every day is a battle man every day is a battle i'm just waiting for some of the stuff that's overfilling on my plate to just fall off the plate so that way we can we can move forward in life because that's what it's about I'm a firm believer that once you hit rock bottom, you're just waiting for the bounce. And, and every day I feel like I'm at the bottom and every day I feel like I get a little bit further and further into the bottom and I'm just waiting for my bounce. That's it, I'm just waiting for the bounce. So that's all I got for this video, guys. Thanks so much for watching my channel. Cheers to those of you that have your beers and we'll see you next time. Deuces.